My name is Miss Conception. I'll be your host this evening. Um, and we got DJ, DJ Sequence over here. If you could please give her a gracious round of applause. She's going to be holding down the decks all night. So if you decide that you want some music with your piece, if you want to rap or whatever, so then you can talk to her. I've also got a phone if you want to like post yourself on the Up next, I've got a name. I know. I don't know the face yet, but Will? Will Sraw? You gotta work on that handwriting. Hello everyone, I'm Give Will Ayer. Hi, yeah, thank you, give it up for me, yay. Uh, I, uh, I fucking hate hipsters. Um, and so this first poem is called Hipster Hell. Anyway. On the day that I died, St. Peter stood before me, my reflection distorted in his 80s cop glasses. His beard artfully spilling unkempt over his flannel shirt. The light of the Lord glinted off the chrome of his BMX bike. He said, heaven is no longer where it's at. It went out with Michael Landon. You're going to hipster hell. And we traveled to a dive bar off a side street of a city you've never heard of, just being gentrified. Where the only light came from the Schlitz neon signs and the oh-so-retro pinball machines. And he said, welcome to hipster hell. You may already be in it. Welcome to hipster hell. It'll be gone in a minute. In hipster hell, all the jeans are acid washed, worn low like gunslinger belts revealing ironic ass crack lighting up the night. And every girl's a burlesque dancer in hipster hell, but no one gets their tits out. And every guy plays a ukulele badly, and it sounds like the end of an era. I ate five cupcakes in hipster hell because the fat lady with the pink hair and the dragon tattoo doesn't serve them in even numbers. And I played some kickball, but not well. And I drank non-commercial beer and sighed, and we watched 3D movies without the glasses, and then said how much better they were. My iPhone fell in the toilet and broke, and now I can't use the A key, which just makes it cooler, because man, I don't even need vowels. I went to a handcraft fair and bought a tea towel, a hipster tea towel that said tea, so you know what it's for. In hipster hell, I saw a play. It was political and not very good, but then everyone said how good it was, so I changed my mind. And everyone's a spoken word poet in hipster hell, and they're trying something new tonight that you've never heard of. It's about third world countries and how the man is keeping us down, and it sort of rhymes, but it doesn't really, but that's not the point, man. It's not supposed to. And no one does drugs in hipster hell because it's cooler not to, and the party doesn't stop, and the glasses never come off, and my wallet's an old cassette tape because, man, that shit is retro. And the Afghan scars choke the men with the pointy shoes whose hair looks like a chicken's. And everybody sounds like they smoke too much. And everybody sounds like they're from L.A. And everybody tries to be so perfectly unkempt in hipster hell. In hipster hell, they had a Halloween with that day. In hipster hell, they didn't ever learn how to speak. And they had a Halloween party where everyone came as their favorite childhood TV show that they'd never seen. Look, there's Wonder Woman. Look, there's Sailor Moon. Can we get some more magna, please? This is hipster hell. And the time came when I couldn't take it anymore. And I said, St. Peter, take me somewhere earnest. And he said, you had it, but you lost it. It's the price you paid for entry. And every headband wearing Afro boy here is a century and the girls will never stop watching with this interest and scorn and you're never going back again and so I had another cupcake and on we stared confused at the death of me Thank you. Uh, I just I just moved back from uh, England. I used to live there, uh, and in Norwich. I don't know anybody from Norwich. Uh, thank God. I hate yeah, this yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> An entire crowd of Norwich people came to Lawrence. Uh, but anyway, this this winter it snowed uh, about this much, and and everybody flipped the fuck out, and they're like, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die here in Norwich. And then they're like, have you ever seen anything like this in Kansas? Uh, and I said, yeah, we have. Uh, so this next poem is my, my poetic response to that question. Uh, and I call it, fuck you, I'm from Kansas. <laughs> There's snow in England and the city shuts down. There just isn't enough grit 
Fuck you, I'm from Kansas, where grit comes from the inside. Where blizzards bury children in as little as eight minutes and you just deal with it. Socialized healthcare, fuck you, I'm from Kansas, if you get cut, you die. Sure, we'll pray for y'all, but that's about it. You see, we buried Pa in a field down by the river when the rustlers came. Ma died while trying to birth that calf. She got kicked in the face to death. Little sister was bitten 52 times by a rattlesnake before she managed to bite off its head. We can't afford the antidote because the cattle died of blight. Poison still courses through her veins today. It makes her mean. And when the well ran dry, 15 kids tripped and fell into it. Cute little blonde-haired, blue-eyed kids, like the kind you save in movies. Movies that are never set in Kansas. And as they fell to their tiny little deaths, we just watched. Health and safety? Fuck you, I'm from Kansas. I went to school in the class of 600, only eight of us are still alive. We never found Billy Ray after that twister got him. He's probably somewhere in Iowa or Ohio or Missouri. Maybe little bits of him in all three. Did we miss him? Yeah, but fuck you, I'm from Kansas. That shit is part of God's plan. We just got color back in 1994. Before that, everything was black and white, except the people, they were just white. I'm not racist, fuck you, I'm from Kansas. I cried once when I was two and my pa punched me in the face. <laughs> Fuck you, son. We don't cry. Not in Kansas. Cause nothing tastes better in Kansas than pain. <laughs> and we like our women to have teeth, but it doesn't always work out that way. <laughs> you can't always get what you want in Kansas. If you don't take a case and a half of PBR a day, you get out of Kansas. If you don't stop at a titty bar along the highway, fuck you, get out of Kansas. Our state capital, Topeka, is built of sticks and mud. We added a brick once the whole thing fell down. 40,000 people died. We just started again. Fuck you, I'm from Kansas. I graduated top of my class in Kansas because I went to the library and I read the book. Now I'm governor. Governor of fucking Kansas. So when the next snow comes and y'all English are trying to push your faggoty French cars out your ever so slightly frosted over roads, don't come crying to me, because I have seen it all on the cold, cold prairie. Fuck you. I'm from Kansas. It's just the fucking beginning, motherfucker. Poetry style, bongo, you know, we can do that too. 